we got a butt, we got a boatload of new knives, including Wander Tactical. Let's go ahead and talk about these Benchmades right here. Gotcha. So these are some new releases, just released yesterday actually, from Benchmade. This is the Altitude. This is not a new knife, but it is a new version. So S90V, we've also got the uh, carbon fiber on the handles, uh, full tang fixed blade, and um, it's hunter orange. Uh, that really nice, orange, nice. Really, really lightweight too. Comes with the Kydex sheath. That one's coming in at 270. Love the jumping and the finger choy on on top right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, just really nice. And then we've also got the Mini Freak right there. Oh, the heading of it, always a fun little knife. Yeah, so that one's coming in with M4 on the blade steel. Oh, there um, you go. G10 on the handles, so uh, a nice little upgrade there uh, with the M4 on the blade steel. Mm -hmm. And I this love, one feels really good. I love the, the backspacers on that one. If you take a look, it's just that extra yeah. tension to detail. It's always so good. And the liners themselves oh, are yeah. also red, like that, that red G10 mm -hmm. liner right in there. Um, so a really cool look right there. And a really nice knife. That one's coming in at 243. That's what the sticky note says. So um, it's. It, I thought it was kind of funny. I actually just did a, a video on hunting calibers for SMGA. You did. And so 270 and 243 are the mm -hmm. prices for those two. There you go. Um, that's really funny. So we've got another new knife from Tour. We'll Which just go ahead and fun. roll through another fixed blade right here. And this is actually not necessarily a new knife, but a re-release from them. Gotcha. This is their Tonto right here. And this thing is absolutely intense. So S35VN on the blade steel, it is nice and thick, boy. Is that the thick as a suitor from the other day? I mean, it's, I, it's I pretty close. It's pretty close. And it's got the uh, the I think they're calling that phosphor green on the oh, on the G10. That sounds like something they would say. Yeah. And very exaggerated tanto shape on this one. And just a really, really cool looking knife. That one's coming in at 350 again, with the Kydex sheath right there. And a really great product from a really great group of guys out there in San Diego. Um, American made, veteran owned veteran and operated. Owned. And um, no matter which one you get of them, all of them are great knives. They're purpose built. You can use them for many, many things. Uh, but those guys, they build them to last. Yeah, uh, and that's one thing that I really love. And you can see in our field testing and in the testing that we did uh, with the Willet Cut on the Field 2.0, that uh, one of the things that's really great about them is their edge geometry sets it up oh, yeah. to be extremely durable. Mm -hmm. And speaking of extremely durable and hardcore, thinking? let's go. Uh -huh. Let's let's burn through these uh, fixed blades here. I hand them so to you by size. We got a new. Uh, New brand here called Wander Tactical, and uh, this one is, I think this one's called the Minosaurus, 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 yeah, that, that one. And um, so it, the, all of these come with a certificate of authenticity. This one right here is coming in at 135. All of these have O2 tool steel on the blade. That's twice as good as O1. Yeah. And... Uh, Good grief. And uh, I really dig these. This one right here is a small guy, but it actually fits in the hand really nice. I get a good four finger grip on it. It's nice and thick. And so it's got a good amount of girth to it. So it actually feels good in the hand. Mm -hmm. I really dig that one right there. What do you I mean, think about it, Greg? That right there would be a perfect uh, scout carry knife. Mm -hmm. go in. You could use that as a, a belly carry right there. I yeah. know you do that quite often. So, I mean, that is a perfect size for that. And my hands are quite a bit bigger than yours and definitely chunkier. Yep. That's still a great size, a great fit. I like that. And then they got a step up as so, well. Going up in size and no. in price. Well, did um, you tell them the price of that one? Yeah, 135 okay. on that one. And then you the next this. one is going to be 297 and that is going to be the Lynx. I do know the name of this one. This one is the there's Lynx. Well, there's not this many is there. there. Absolutely beast of a knife. Mm -hmm. um, so, again... Uh, I'm thinking that's micarta on the handles right there. Some, yeah, that's a form of micarta. And uh, this is a black micarta. And this one, like, super thick and beefy right there on the blade stock, but also super deep. Like, that's a mm -hmm. that's a big, beefy blade. Now, is there a step up on weight compared to the smaller one there? Or it's it a... not a lot. No, it's, it's actually no, it's not. Very controllable. And very comfortable in hand. Oh, that yeah. thing is insanely comfortable. But Again, it, O2 tool steel on the mm -hmm. blade steel, uh, 297. 
I mean, these that's are, not a bad price for that. These for are that great size. knives, and we're we're really glad to finally be getting these in hand. Um, and, then, yeah. and then we've got this beast right here. So this is the Smilodon. So we've got um, some prehistoric characters that are inspiring the names of these uh, from Wander my, Tactical. That's what my dentist used to call me a Smilodon. Okay, well, here we go. This one is not going to actually fit in no, the, the We had complaints about the other day. Can you, start, can you start at the far back wall that way? No, other way. Uh, other way. I'm going to show them up close. The, I'm going <sighs> to show them the whole knife up close. I right promise here. you, he reads all of your comments. All the time that you're making fun of him, all the ones that you make suggestions. We appreciate every <laughs> single one of them. <laughs> yeah, we do. Let me tell you. Um, also, I'm going to try not to get canceled on this uh, episode as well. Isaac's not here to save you. I can do um, nothing for you. So, this is an absolute beast. It and is. it's still not as heavy as you'd think. No, it would I be. mean, the weight on that, again, my hand being significantly bigger than yours and chunkier than yours that fits really really well and it's so it's really controllable for its size it really is, is. and then they also impressive get, for something that big they give you the drilled holes here that way you could also put your leather throne or whatever else be able yep. to lock your hand in be able to get some really good control of it that way we've seen joe flowers do that in the field two three four times over absolutely yeah. uh, and works really well and i mean that fuller on there oh yeah that is just nice i like that but that is the last fixed blade we have, so now yep. we got to go to some fli uh, flickies. Do you want to do flickies or do you want to do slips? Um, let's go ahead and talk about our Rough Rider Reserve there. <gasps> there we're, we just, we're just bouncing around all over the place. That's okay. We've got a brand new Rough Rider Reserve, and this is the Roundup. I dig this one. So we've had some people commenting on uh, wanting us to show... Um, knives that are actually useful that people actually carry mm -hmm. um which i think it's funny because this is the ultimate as far as the knives that won the west right there mm -hmm. so this one right here is going to be a sow belly stockman type pattern it's going to have a flat back or almost a drop point blade on that first one and then you've got kind of a spay blade on this one kind of a Thickish pin blade on this one. I, I really a, a pin blade. I really dig this uh, this configuration, and it's the geometry's been done really well here. Um, nice brown burlap micarta. You got the bomb shield, and uh, this thing is gorgeous. Got uh, brass liners right there, and this one really lives up to that Rough Rider Reserve name, and it feels really great in the hand with it being a sow belly. Um, it, it actually fits in the hand, super nice. And another interesting thing to note that I want to show people is actually the angle of this blade right here. Because it is a sow belly, that's the angle of that blade fully open, which is going to make this a really great whittling blade or mm -hmm. a really great apple cutting blade. As you and I talked about earlier, if you ever come across an old man, which we are now, sitting around eating apples and peeling them with a knife, take all the advice they have for you. Absolutely. D2 on the blade steel, and that one's coming in at $64.99. And I, one of the things you can never it. overlook with a Rough Rider, don't forget, built by hand, back, back for, for life. life. That right there is an important part. So if you bust this, we want to know how you did it. Quit it. Send it back, we'll get you another one. <laughs> Alright, where are we going next? You want one continuous slips? Yeah, let's go over that one. This one I think is the deal of the week right here. And actually, when this video comes out, we're probably going to be sold out of this one, but I, I still want to on. show it because we're going to be ordering more of these. This right here is one of the best deals I've seen in a really long time, and I dig this. So this is the Boker Atlas, which I know we've seen and talked about They've before. They've got a couple of different versions of it. But this is a new version here, and this one's in the all black with the brass accents right there. And those accents look really, really bring cool. out. Yeah. It makes it, it, it's a good go to town, Sunday meeting, uh, slippy right there. It's something you could drop in your pocket. Lightweight is all get out. Super light, very thin. It's got the pocket clip too. So it's a slip joint, but it's kind of modernized a little bit. If you want to take that, that pocket clip off, it's also got the lanyard hole right there. So yep. I mean, make it just a pocket dropper. And the cool thing about this is You've got 12C27 on the blade steel. So a really formidable stainless blade steel right there. Really nice accents, really good looking knife, super lightweight. The best thing about this though, with that blade steel is the price. Oh yeah, I was gonna argue with you saying, you were saying the, the steel is a good part. No, the steel of this is the price. Yeah. 2631, I think it is. It's one of those really weird it's, ones. I love when Boker does that to us. 2631, yeah. Your brain came through it again. 2631. I can't believe that's it. That's insane. You're, that is. You're taking that one home with you, aren't you? That's, that's going to become part of the collection. I kind of want 
too. Look at him. Look at him. He didn't deny it. So, if you guys click the link in the description below, if we're sold out of them, which I think we will be by the time this airs, um, go ahead and hit the notify me button, enter your email address, and that way you can be notified when we get restocked on those because we will be ordering more if we have sold out on those. Hashtag toodle tom, order more. <laughs> yeah. uh, again, another slip joint from Boker. This one's a little bit more expensive. This one's coming in, I believe, at 63, I think. I think. Again, 12C27 on the mm -hmm. blade steel. This one's got the Damascus G10 on the handled material right there. This is the tech tool from Boker, but this is the single bladed version. Mm -hmm. It's got the uh, tip up or tip down pocket clip and it's got the glass breaker on the tail end right there. Uh, it's tip up or tip down, but not left and right handed, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. So really, really cool little blade right there. I really dig some of the, uh, I guess more budget friendly options oh, yeah. that Boker's coming out with. And I think, think they're doing a phenomenal. There's several right. in that tech line right there and with that glass breaker on there. And when you need one, you need one. And yeah. that single blade, that can make it all the difference right there. Absolutely. So that's all the fix. That's all the slip. So now, Flicky. Yes. So this one right here is the SOG ProHen XR. Now, if you look at this one, immediately my mind went to. Mikhail Willemson. That is the designer on this knife right here, and a phenomenal job he did designing this knife. $69.95 on that one. Cryo D2 on the blade steel. This one is going to have that crossbar lock right there, giving it a really fun, fidgety, flicky action right there. It's also got the blade flipper in the back right there, mm -hmm. and a nice ting. That was a good ting on that. That was so solid. Well, see, we've had the red E from him before. We've got a couple of custom still on the website from Mikael Williamson as well, so be sure to check those out. And you can see that design from him, that beautiful full handle, that jimping on the back right there to get your thumb on there. That's really awesome. Yeah, that's a that's a cool knife. That's right cool. There. I, I love it. I love him as a designer. I really do. And one of the nicest guys I have ever met. I've yeah. met him a couple of times at Blade Show now. I Super suck nice at reverse guy. flicking, and that just flew open and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, about, I about trimmed my nails uh -huh, You sure <laughs> did. That, that, that was, that was good Whoa, right that there. That was a good one. <laughs> I like that. Moving right along, we got three new CRKTs. Cricket. Now, we actually got these in last week. They didn't make it in by the time we uh, when we were filming last week. So we're going to go ahead and put them on this week. First up is going to be the Ecoma Deadbolt. Icoma? Ecoma? Ecoma. Um, and I dig this one, too. This one's really, really cool. So... We're talking Jade G10. You do love your Jade G10. On the blade steel right there. And this is the bot, excuse me, the bot, spring assisted deadbolt folding knife. Um, designed by uh, Flavio Ecoma. Oh, there we go. That's yeah. where you got the Ecoma from. Uh, 2.21 inches on that uh, black coated Aus 10A stainless steel drop point blade. And that's the EDP finish there from CRKT. And I like deadbolts anyways. Mm -hmm. I like their deadbolt lock because I like how solid that is. I mean, you've really got lock up all the way around that blade mm -hmm. tang. And this one feels really good in the hand. I also like how the, uh, I guess the grooves or the... Um, that ripple effect of the, of the uh, machining. Into yeah, the on, the, on the handle material. I was trying to think of like the... I can't even think of the word right now. I can't speak. Um, but the, uh, yeah. The, it's not even Monday anymore. Yeah, right. But I like how that kind of is an extension of that deadbolt lock. So you'll you'll see that uh, that actual texturing. Texturing. Texture. Texture. There, there we go. There we go. Good work. Look at me. Good work. So I really like that one. That's the Alabama Public Education. Three that one's coming right in at 1.30. Next up, we've got, from CRKT, the PSD Two. So TC showing off the CRKT with the PSD. Yes. CRKT PSD 2 by TC right here. This one actually was designed by Jim Hammond. And we ran another, out of letters. We actually had to use word words. Right, ah. exactly. 3.03 .03 inches on that Aus 10A stainless steel drop point blade with that black coating on this one as well. Also, uh, this one is a spring assisted folder on those IKBS ball bearing pivots and the uh, Coyote Brown G10 on the handles with, again, a really nice texture on them as well. Look at you in texture. Got a, nice, like <laughs> got a nice finger jewel right there. It is tip up or tip down pocket clip, but right hand only mm -hmm. and fairly unobtrusive on the flipper as well. 
So it's, it's not a big chicken wing on there. Yeah. I don't think Isaac would uh, hate that one too much. And CRKT does do that coyote brown. Yeah. Just as good as anybody else out there. It's a very, very good color on there. It's not, yeah. it's not just something muted that falls into the background. I really dig it. And that one's coming in at $64.99. That's not bad. Last but certainly not least is the CRKT ABC. We got more letters. We got more letters. ABC, CRKT, that is your, that's definitely your uh, grade card, not mine. <laughs> CRKT ABC, that means all bases covered right there. This one's coming in at $64.99 as well, again. And um, this one also is a spring assisted liner lock, 3.39 inches, and that's 12C27 on the blade steel. Oh, nice. And on that nice uh, kind of modified Tonto mm -hmm. harpoon blade with the VEF serrations right there. Now, you and I have talked about VEF serrations before. For me, there is nothing better out there for cutting tubing, oh, uh, yeah. hose, any of that stuff. I used to be in junkyards, and that was the thing that I kept around for that all the time. Absolutely. And this is another Hammond design right here, designed Very by nice. Jim Hammond. 3.9 ounces right there, uh, 4.59 inches closed, black G10 on the handles, and a one-way pocket clip. And I, I just, I mean, this knife feels really good in the hand and it pops right out. Let's tink, it's just it, effortless. CRKT does that where they catch the eye just as good as anybody. The ritual, yeah. the minimalist, all of these, and that one falls right in that category. When you set it up with a line of knives, you automatically go to that. There's just yeah. something that catches your eye. About it. Absolutely, so absolutely. And now we're down to our Kaisers. Now these aren't necessarily mm. new Kaisers to the market, but they, they are, are new, new to us. us. And we just got these in and wanted to show you that we got them in and well, go over them. I have a confession because I lied to them. We do have one slippy left, but it's a flippy slippy. It's a flippy slippy. It's a flippy yeah. slippy. So <laughs> let's start with the flippy slippy. So this is going to be the mini sheepdog right here. And it pops. It pops. But this is a double detent right here. So it acts like a slip joint. Mm -hmm. You just break it closed. Um, so let's show that one up close. Bam. Woo. This one's coming in at $69. 154CM on the blade steel. G10 on the handles and uh, got a very Stormtrooper look on it those. It does. And then to close it, you can hear that pop, and that's it breaking the tension. Okay, when you get that, it up to uh, the microphone this time, don't hit your beard, don't hit your nose, your chin, or anything else. There it is, now, yeah. now let them hit their break. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a nice one right there. There you go. That I just, I mean, I've always loved the Sheepdog anyways, mm -hmm. and uh, that one is gonna be a great one. Especially if maybe you're in a European country and knife laws are go. a little trickier to get around. You need mm. something we that is not We do not ship internationally. We don't currently, but we're working on it. Um, so, yeah. I learn things when you all learn things. Look at this. You all email that's, me and ask me questions. That's something I don't we're get working on. So, yeah. Go wherever but. you want now because I lied to them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next up is going to be, I'm going to go over the XL Beg Lighter. Mm -hmm. So actually, when I first started working here, the first knife that I bought after starting, after working here was the Kaiser Beg Lighter, but it was the titanium version. Mm -hmm. So this is the XL version, the Beg Lighter, and um, it's coming in with those nice, uh, I guess, weathered, worn micarta handles. That's a good way to put it. I and like that. They look, I mean... I got some work pants that same color. There's just something classy about that. Mm -hmm. There's something that looks really cool about that. 154 CM on the blade steel. I love this blade shape as well. Mm -hmm. I and love how many options they give you to open with it right here because yeah. you because you and I have this argument all the time that a button lock is not a way to open. I say it is. You say it's actually not an opener. It's part of the locking system, but yep. they also give you the thumb stud. They give you a chicken wing, as Isaac would call it, the little flipper on the back there. And knowing you, you could probably reverse flick it. Never mind. There it is. Yep. Um, so you've got your ambi thumb studs right there, and I mean, like I said, this thing just looks super classy with that worn micarta mm -hmm. there. It just looks like generous jumping all the way up the back of the blade. That way, when you get your thumb on there or finger, perfect for push cuts, pull cuts, whatever you need. It yeah. looks like it looks like it's ready for work. It looks like it's yeah. capable of work. Yeah, absolutely. And I dig that one right there. Mm -hmm. And that one is coming in. At ninety-four dollars, so that uh, for something that size, that's that size, and like I said, I personally love having a button for it yeah. open, just to just fling it go. open. It's fun. Just I fling like it. it. There we go. Um, next, actually, we're gonna hold off on the sheepdogs because we got two more sheepdogs to show you. But next, we're gonna show you the drop bear, uh, and this I one right here, I dig. So Kaiser really 
knocked it out of the park with the uh, with the drop bear. Out of the box, this is one of the most fidget, fidget. friendly. Oh my gosh! I mean, yes. I've handed this knife to several people now in their di different various forms, uh, and everybody that I hand it to just opens it a different way. They play with it a different way, but every single one of them come with back the same comments of that is a well designed, that is an ergonomic knife, and just with the attention to detail the different colors that it comes in, it is so awesome. Yeah. I'm really digging them. We've got another one that's kind of like a, a gradient titanium handle. Mm -hmm. This one right here is the aluminum, the black aluminum handle with the steel liners and 154CM on the blade steel. It just feels really solid in the hand as well. And that one's coming in at 119. And I like, I really dig the purple accent it, on the Ambi Thumb It right really there. does, and I mean, such a good knife, so well designed, fits the hand so well, and how much is it? 119. That is that is so good. I, I Yeah, I can't argue yeah. with that. Also coming in at 119 is going to be Ooh. the Sheepdog right here. Lots more purple. And even more purple, and I dig this, uh, especially being here in Sevier County. Go Bears. Sevier County High School, go Bears. My wife was a bear, the and, entire family hey, was a bear. Drop bear? Drop bear. With the purple? Yep. yep. Do, not, do not take knives to local high school games. Do not. We did not tell you to do that. No. Whoops. Um, so I'm, I've never done that before. What are you talking about? Uh, 154CM on the blade steel. Nice cleaver shaped blade. Uh, purple aluminum on the handles. Anodized aluminum. Reversible pocket clip right there. And it just fits in the hand absolutely gorgeously. Uh, just wonderfully fits in the hand right there. Now, is that still considered a thumb stud? Is that a flipper stud? It, or are we going to come a, up with a new name for it's it? It's a thumb stud hole. A thumb stud hole. So we took all the things that are already there and decided to just cram them together. Okay. Yep. Why not? Why not? I had a question. You had an answer. That's all I'm saying. That one's 119 right there. And uh, 4.76 ounces, 4.45 inches closed, 3.15 inches on that cleaver blade. That definitely comes in the like, top 10 easiest to reverse flick open I have ever seen in my life. Yep. The colors that come with it. Karen downstairs got two or three of these now, I think in every yep. size. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely gorgeous, great price on them. And for the size of it, the weight of it is not gonna be obtrusive in your pocket yeah. at all. That is freaking awesome. And then Very my good favorite time. of all of them, this one right here. You always leave your favorite to the last every time. This there is the is. mini sheepdog, and we got to we got to do that sound again. Listen to this. So would that be a Chihuahua? <laughs> this one is so freaking cool, and I love that it's all black, like completely black. So all black hardware, black handle material. So that's going to be black aluminum, anodized aluminum on the handle material. Uh, one way pocket clip on that one. Thumb hole opening, 154 CM on the blade steel, and that is a button lock, and it just closes effortlessly. And what I always check, and the thing that I'm always worried about with, whether it's a button lock, anything that drops closed that easily, mm -hmm. I immediately think, okay, it's gotta have blade play. Mm -hmm. But, this has Nothing. no blade play whatsoever. No, see the shaky part you all are seeing there is his wrist. He's broke that a couple dozen times over the years. The, the blade itself, no play whatsoever. No. That, uh, I mean, just, and it feels so good in the hand. That one's coming in at $96 oh, right go. there. I mean, 96 that's, even. That is great on that. I mean, you don't. 2.61 inches on the blade right yeah, there. You do not need that thumb, what did you call the new thumb stud hole? Thumb stud hole? No. Thumb stud hole, you do not need that on there. It's a generous enough hole that you can get uh, your finger right in there. Get it. That thing flies. Yeah, it does. It flies, and it is just sweet. I'm That's my favorite one right there. Absolutely. Okay. So we have so, we have two questions. One, yep. what's the best thing on the table for you? Which one are you picking is the knife of the week for you? Because I almost guarantee it's not going to be the same one I pick. Um, it's either going to be between the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog here. Mm -hmm. Or the Wander Tactical Lynx. Those okay. are my two favorites on the on the For table. For me, right here. it was the Boker Atlas, which I know you're taking this one home, so I'll get I my grubby like little paws one. off That's of it. it. But I'm I don't buy knives. I'm cheap. I'm probably going to have to end up buying a Mikael Williamson because I've been arguing with myself. And I never did pick up that Red E last time. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. And of course, last question: What do you got in your pocket? Ah, in my pocket today, 
I've actually got a couple of different things, but I'm actually going to show off. And Isaac's not here. You can show off more than one if you want to. There I we go. Care. I've got my Tor XT1 Alpha. There you go. Really dig that one. I actually brought it in so that I would remember to sharpen it because uh, it's... Uh, Wait, you mean you actually use your knives? Yeah, I use the piss Shocking. out of this thing. <laughs> so I've got that one. And I've got a couple of... Uh, actually, I've got my... Oh, there you go. Boker Strike mm -hmm. in the FET finish right there. I was just up in the uh, photo lab and saw that we're getting some more Kalishkinovs in. I don't know what they are yet. We'll find out next time. Yeah. And I've got... My slip joint is my oh, case mini go. copper lock right mm -hmm. there in the yellow composite and their carbon steel. And then for a fixed blade, I've got my little oh, CRKT. I minimal. actually saw you using that earlier, opening boxes and stuff. Yep, that one that one gets used quite a bit too, and I need to I need to sharpen. You need to sharpen well. that one probably knowing you. That was our exclusive in uh, in D two there. Yes. So well, I've got my, I'm rocking out my little uh, nice the, the wazoo, ceramic yep. little wazoo because I was at Scouts the other night and we were doing fire starting lessons again, so it's a great one to have. And then I finally got around to picking up because it came back because it was misplaced somewhere. I got that Dirk Pinkerton design beyond yeah. DDC Night Horse. Guys, when these do come back into stock, if they do come back into stock, we still got the more expensive version with yep. the metal handles, with the titanium, all the titanium and, and all that. Uh, S35V in. Do you remember how much these were? Yeah. $29.99. $29.99. That's an oh, insane deal. I right love there. this knife. And take this one right here, just whenever somebody goes, hey, can I borrow your knife? It's like, okay, I know, I've got my I've got my little marbles in my pocket. I could hand you, but here, try this one. <laughs> just how big it is, how easy that it closes. I mean, it just, yeah, it's a good week for knives. Absolutely. So let us know in the comments down below which one was your favorite knife on the show this week. And you like that one, don't you? That one. <laughs> Let us know what you're carrying as well, folks. As always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, along with Greg, Isaac's editing. We appreciate you guys. And remember, if it cuts, we, we carry it. You all right?